All right. So once again, I'm going to repeat. Everybody during this session, when they're online here, they're able to, you're able to record. So that would probably be in your settings. Um, if you have not received uh, recordings for uh, this week, and if you're getting this on a recording, then you might not, <laughs> still might not get it. But um, if you haven't received it by Wednesday of, of this week, Please call me. Um, I will. I I can set the sessions for just um, to be to be on my channel, and you don't have to have a link. I didn't. I don't know if everybody wants their pictures or whatever within that link. So that's why I've been kind of keeping it private. Um, but we're we're gonna. Uh, first discuss um, first discuss uh, etiquette in regard to uh, answering questions. Uh, everybody has a different level of comprehension. So if someone asks a question, please allow me as the instructor to answer the question first. And then afterwards, or if you have any comments, uh, feel free to um, put them, you can put them in writing during our uh, session, or you can um, wait until after the person, after I answer the question, or I'm trying to figure out how to, to show the uh, reactions, okay. Um, oops, chat. You can put, you can also put your questions if you don't, uh, if you feel more comfortable, you can put your questions in the chat. Um, so that way we can have different, um, ways of communicating. And if you have, um, if you need any additional explanation, definitely feel free to contact me and we can do a personal Zoom if you need um, a further explanation or if we need to walk through it. I know that that um, some some of the students, you know, they get things faster uh, than than other students, and so we definitely have to make sure that we um, are patient because I know this is, this can be difficult for everybody. And, um, you know, that's, that's just basically, basically it. We're, we're trying to be, uh, as courteous to each other as possible and understand that, you know, everybody is going through whatever it is they're going through during this difficult time. You know, some people, um, may lose a little focus while while we're doing it um, because they might not have the same attention span or, you know, there's other things that are going on in the background. Like right now, my son is having a conversation in the other room and I'm trying not to hear it, <laughs> you know. But, uh, and I know that in the, in the grand scheme of things, in an optimal world, I would have all of this stuff set up so that you can either be in the, the class and only ask questions, and then I would have everything already prepackaged so you can go through it at your own pace. Um, but unfortunately, that was not, or, you know, it's not the case because it was supposed to be a uh, a one on one class, and I know a lot of people actually enjoy doing the projects and I mean granted, I had a class with Seth earlier, and he he said he really, really just missed the class. He said it was you know even though he he goes back and forth with everybody mm -hmm. he he really, really enjoys the experience of being in class, it makes him uh, focus 
on doing the projects. And, and that's part of it. You know, a lot of people need that in time, one-on-one, -on -one, somebody there to be on their back. And that's why I designed the, our projects so that they could be done in class and you really don't have any homework to do per se. And that way you can focus, you're in the class, everybody's doing it. Some people do it faster, some people do it slower. And granted, you know, um, we got, we got, we learned to deal with everybody's personality in the class, kind of. But um, we just, I just try to make this a, a fun experience. And by making it a fun experience and with the projects that we do, then you kind of remember, oh, yeah, this is, this is part of creating um and creating artwork and uh and that's that's basically it now this particular class or in the in the assignments that we had um the last uh class what we did was we did a color story for uh two different cultures having to do with an event. Okay, so Claude, um, ah, somebody's asking me something uh, via my, a text message right now. I have to wait to answer it because I I'm really uh, have a hard time multitasking. I know, I know everybody, <laughs> some, some people can do, do two things at one time, but you know, I, I have a little um, harder time with mm -hmm. that. Now, if we were in class, this week would be the week where, where we start. Um, okay. This week would be the week that we would work on our stuff in class, kind of, and finish up our final project. So this week and next week, is basically the same thing leading up to our final project. Um, basically, this week you would be designing your outfit based on your painting okay. and um, learning how to relate it. And then next week you would just go through and just dis uh, discuss all of the stuff and. Uh, present your final project. That's that's basically it. Now, granted, um, because we're online, you can uh, decide whether or not you want to uh, present it to the class, or if you want to just submit it, or if you want to do a, su a video submission. So you can do uh, one of three things. You can submit it online, you can submit it to the class or you can do a video that that is up to you um and so that that means that this class will probably be short um i'll stay on here for about an hour so that if anybody comes in late um they can they can come in but when i talked to seth about it earlier we were on we were only online for like 15 20 minutes Okay. Um, how, how many do you have at that one o'clock meeting? Yeah, uh, it's at three. Three. Okay. Um, at three o'clock, it was just me and Seth. Okay, because I know I I tried to get you at three and I just couldn't get in. Oh. It was about five to three. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, stay on there until like ten minutes after, just to okay. to make sure. Okay. Um, but. Yeah, we were on there. I, I get on maybe two or three minutes before. Okay. Um, but basically what we're doing is we're designing the, the, the outfit, um, whether it be a dress, a suit, a pants, overalls, whatever it is that you're designing. And you're designing that. And then you're... Um, and, and granted, it can be, you know, accessories if you want. Um, 
one lady asked me last year, could she do uh, purses and, you know, so that's what she wanted to do. And, you know, I'm okay with that. Um, so basically you're coming up with their outfit. You're um, trans, uh, transposing or adding your inspiration it could be a print, it could be the color scheme, it could be whatever it is, um, the style, you know, it could, you know, it could be a cubist or it could be, you know, it doesn't have to be that exact painting put on there, the outfit. It mm -hmm. could be, you know, um, like doing something like a Picasso or like a, you know, uh, uh, any type of the artist so you can use that style um on there or you could take that that artist and then change their color scheme to something that you you know you could change it up you could make it pop art you know like andy warhol mm -hmm. or or something like that so if he did a can of chicken soup or you could do, you know, a roll of toilet paper. I don't. <laughs> okay. You no, know, it's 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 the same. It's the same deal. You can do a, a jar of peanut butter, whatever makes you happy. Okay. Um. So so all of these things you can you can change to make it yourself if it's the mona lisa you can put your picture in there instead of the mona lisa with the same color scheme it it doesn't have to be the exact mona lisa it could be whatever you want okay you can put your head on the mona lisa body or the mona lisa body on your head or whatever you want to do um you you're basically coming up with something that inspires you you know and so as long as we basically using the painting as inspiration it don't matter what we do with it as long as you know it's coming from that painting yeah you got it so it's it's just you're just using that as inspiration so whatever inspires you and then you're gonna describe how you how what how you did it you're going to uh, describe it in your color schemes. You're going to use your vocabulary. You might talk about how it's going to be sold globally via the colors, um, how other uh, countries would look at it. Um, and, you know, because this is a global society, you want to keep that in mind, especially when you're creating things. So you might you might want something to just be sold in the U.S., but hey, we might want stuff to be sold in India. We might want stuff to be sold in. So we have to gear it to the to those cultures, and that's why I had you do a color a color um, story based on different cultures. So you may draw something and then duplicate it twice and say okay if i was selling it in the u.s it would look like this but maybe if i was selling it in china it would be these colors instead okay you know so these things are up to you on how you want to do it but this is basically giving you um a way to describe your your art as an artist and by okay. using color and this can be an outfit or accessory it could be an outfit it could be an accessory Perfect. it could be i mean you know uh, test yourself i mean it could be you know head to toe look it could be shoes it could be hats it could be you know whatever it is on um, uh it could be a head wrap it could be you know i had a a one student or not a student, I saw one of my uh, friends who has a company and 
her her company is called So Wasted, and she has been home during the pandemic like everybody else. So she's been sewing stuff, and all her outfits now have matching masks. Okay, yeah. You know, so um, she, you know, she was wearing the mask and then flipped it up, and it was a headband. You know, so. <clears throat> Or, you know, it was a headband while she was walking around and she flipped it down and it was a mask. Okay. So um, these things, you know, they're, they're wonderful. They're possible, you know. Um, I mean, even if you wanted to just show me like a display of designer masks. Okay. You know, uh, Somebody gave me a designer mask today. My mother. It's got a. Uh, it's got my name on it. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. You know, so my name is embroidered on the mask, and I thought that was really cute because she did a. Huh? That's a nice mask. Yeah. What it looks like on the inside. Um. Okay, that's nice. Oops. A minute, here's the okay. So she did, she did a the look like she got a starter, yeah. It looked like she just interfaced it, searched it, and then just uh, um, see you know, put a seam all around and add the uh, elastic, right? Yeah, so I mean, she did. I thought she did, she had a, good, a really good embroidery, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, accessory on her machine because my mother got one for me and my son and his is in a different typeface. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was really nice. Um, you know, if you wanted to do uh, uh, five masks with different color uh, schemes, you could sit there and you could talk about the color scheme on each one. Okay. You know, um, surprise me. You know, this is this is your project, and uh, it's basically whatever you come up with. I'm not I'm not real picky. I just want to see some you know some interesting stuff, and I think I will get that from the class. I you know I don't doubt it because I think everyone in the class is really really creative, even based on the um the basics <laughs> I got that. okay he 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 jumped across my lap and I caught him okay <laughs> so um that that was our excitement for today <laughs> But does anyone have any questions? Yes, as far as um, all of the assignments that we need to turn in, what are they? Because I think I missed one or two. Ha! Ah. <laughs> okay, what I will do is I will make a list of all of the assignments, but if you want, I can I can talk to you about it right now. Hold on. Mm -hmm. um, okay. What you gonna do, make a list and then what, send it to us via email? Yep. yep. Yeah, yeah I'll take that yeah. option, please. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. And if there's, you know, if I've, if I've missed one, but all of the the assignments, uh, let's see, the first one was the gradient using the black and white. Okay. In primaries. Second mm -hmm. one. Um, oh, I mean, just since we've been, um. Oh, quarantine I mean, classes this, remotely. The quarantine? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I know we had to do two color stories. We had to do a mood board. And then um, what else did we have to do? Okay, we so did one or yeah. two cultures, but there was no mood board, right? Right. So it was the one color story for your painting. Mm -hmm. And then it was the mood board for your painting. And then it was the two cultures uh, with the colored theme. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
a color story for a color story and a mood board for the painting and then the two culture events right and then did we do any oh um just make sure you said those are the main two that i know of i believe yeah. that's it really that was it that yeah. was it and um and oh, okay. you know you're gonna turn in your midterm Oh yeah, I do have to turn that in. Turn oh, in your right, midterm. Right, 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 right. Okay. Turn, you know, <laughs> turn it. Turn in your final I hope I still paper. Got the audio for it. Huh? I said I hope I still got the audio for it. Oh, I have the. I I can send you a picture of the um the questions. Please do that because mm -hmm. I don't know if I have my audio or not, and I have to do some digging. Do you okay. have some, do you have the, uh, uh, Lord, good Lord, what am I trying to say? Do you have the questions, Claude? Do you, do you need to? Yeah, I type mine out, though. Oh, okay, got you, got you. I mean, I, I can. Say, I can send them to you. I can, oh, I, can. I, I think I have them written down somewhere. I might be able to send them to you if you can. Yeah, I, I, cop, I, I use the tape recording, got it verbatim. So. Got you. I okay. got to find my tape recording. So, Courtney, just send them to me just in case, please, yeah, and thank you. Them. Thank, Thank you, Courtney. You. Oh, no problem. Okay, and and then the last thing we're doing is our final project. Yeah, so that's four things. Right. Midterm, okay. color story and mood board for your final painting, two color stories on uh, global culture with a little paragraph saying what 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 it is and <laughs> and what kind of impact and then your final project okay so that okay two cultures would be on my the two cultures would be on my final design if that if that design was sold in two locations no that is a separate uh a separate thing that we okay. did last week okay it was basically saying uh an event so i used a wedding as an example you can use that if you want to okay i went to a website that said weddings in different cultures okay and um i got the color you know you can get the color scheme for right. different cultures and you just need to talk about uh the color schemes and i just said event so you would know you can use, as I said, uh, weddings is the easiest one. Um, but I mean, you can do weddings, you can do uh, bar mitzvahs. In some cultures, it's bar mitzvahs. In some cultures, it's different things. Um, come, uh, like coming of age, uh, debutante, you know, that would be a, a similar um, thing. So, you know, I mean, there's people that wear certain colors to funerals. There's people that wear a certain culture. I mean, in certain cultures, they wear different color schemes for birth, you know. So you can choose what you want, but the easiest one is, is the weddings. It is. Okay. And you're just going to grab some colors from there. And um, I showed you... Uh, once I put the video up, uh, you can learn how to do it in Word. If everybody has Word, um, you, you just you would use the color picker to pick out the colors. And that video will be available by this Wednesday. Yes, by this Wednesday, I'll have all the videos up. Okay. Would I have to come? Would I have? To, would you be sending it to us, or would we be getting it from you? I, I'll send you the link. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Did I answer everything? Yeah. Yes. Pretty much, yes. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, as I said, if you have any other questions, um, feel free to call me. I'm here. I may be working and, um, you know, forgive me when, if you call at an obscure time, uh i may be working on something and i may sound aloof don't pay any attention i i do uh 
you know, I be in, in, in other worlds like everybody else when we doing these uh, <laughs> while we here. So we we all trying to trying to make it the best way we can and keep our sanity. I understand. <laughs> so hopefully, um, you know, we can we can make it through and. I don't know if anybody has had the opportunity to register for next semester. You talking about the summer semester? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing it. You can forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> I made a decision. I said it's online. You can forget about it. I'll yeah. just wait till September. Yeah. Um, during the summer, I will be focusing on um, having my own like set of online videos and things where it's a little bit more interactive and it's not like we're having a zoom meeting okay. um i think what i was gonna do is um the class that i was or or am supposed to teach would be fashion sketching so Great. so if you are registered um i i'll be working on some 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 extra uh video and and things that you can do outside of of um of that we'll be doing fashion sketching kind of like uh what's the guy who did the paintings who's the guy bob ross <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> let's make a happy little uh mountain over here and <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we'll be we'll be drawing figures. So that that would be that will be fun. I hope. When does that class start, Professor? Uh that that should start in June. I think the summer classes start in June, right? I'm not sure. I believe so, but I haven't seen the last time I went to go try to register for classes, nothing was nothing was even up. So Yeah, same here. Like nothing was available for me. Uh, they didn't even have the classes up so i'm like um i don't know yeah well hopefully well we'll talk about it more next week but hopefully they'll they'll have something up and we'll all know uh something a little bit more um we'll see but i i definitely would prefer to have everybody in the building but you know we'll we'll do what we need to do to make um this a better uh type of class for you and and as i said before my summer will be uh focused in on creating uh better online experiences for the students okay. yeah okay okay so if that is it. Okay. I will be signing. Um, well, I'll, I'll be closing down my screen, but if you need to come back into the meeting, as I said, I'll be here for another 30 minutes. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I hope okay. you all had a great Mother's Day yesterday. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you for, for saying that, and I hope everybody had a great Mother's Day. I was, uh, yeah, at home. <laughs> okay. Oh, weren't we all? Yeah, I was at home doing my thing. So okay, all right. So that's all right. It. Okay, so I'm gonna stop recording now.